This program is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public. We are the Kathy Erickson Band from Middle River, Minnesota. My name is Kathy Erickson. Other members of the group are Mary Jo Sturman, my daughter from Grand Forks, North Dakota, Frank Olson from Roseau, Minnesota, and we specialize in old time music featuring polkas, waltzes, shadishes, two steps, and swing music, um, music that you grew up with and that you could enjoy forever. Mary Jo has been playing with our band for over 20 years. She started when she was in high school. We have really appreciated her expertise on the saxophone and the vocals. And of course, everybody loves to see Mary Jo have a good time and she brings a lot of joy to the stage. So we always say that we traded her bottle in the crib and give her a saxophone instead. About four years ago, Frank uh, sent me an email wanting to know if he could play with the band. And so he came to where we were playing one night and we gave him some music and uh, he was interested and we're lucky enough to have a, a young fellow that plays very well on the saxophone and we can send out to dance with the little old ladies that come to, the, come to our dances. So they really appreciate that. And, and the young girls too, can't forget them. This is my 38th year with the band business. We started out as the Alley Cats back in 1975 in Middle River. Throughout the years, changed the name to the Kathy Erickson Band. We have uh, seven recordings out. One of them is the Polka Mass, and uh, we have been doing the Polka Mass for just as long as the band has been in existence. And uh, what is a Polka Mass? Well, a Polka Mass is bringing traditional old-time music melodies with religious words into the church and Wherever music would be played during the service, we play um, polka mass music. And it's just the instruments that are changed. And the tempo is usually a little up-tempo. And the people, um, you know, go away feeling pretty happy. Um, we've even this past year played a polka mass for three funerals. And we get a request for that occasionally, too. Sweet. 
thought for you I'd still be searching for my dreams Thank you for loving me from the bottom of my heart Thank you for loving me Thank you sweetheart Thank you for loving me and for being what you are Thank you for loving me Thank you sweetheart Thank you for husband Virgil and I live on a farm uh, outside of Middle River. We've raised six children there. We have 17 grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. Um, the grandkids call me Grandma Polka and occasionally I have to bring out the accordion and play the chicken dance for them when they come home for holidays. I got my first accordion when I was 13 years old. My uncle Louis from Algoma, Wisconsin decided to trade in his piano accordion for a button accordion and so he brought the accordion to Minnesota when he visited my parents one summer and uh, because I played the piano before that it was easy to transfer the keyboard to the accordion and then kind of figure out the bass a little bit and then when I took college classes at Northland Community College in Thief River Falls there was a lady there I took accordion lessons uh, for one year and I even have three credits in accordion from her. you 
kisses. I just can't forget your tender charms. Cause seven days and seven nights without you make one week of loneliness for me. How I try to get along without you, but it seems that you were meant for me. Seven days and seven nights without you Make one week of loneliness for me How I try to get along without you But it seems that you were meant for me I like the way you dance with me, my darling I like the way you hold me in your arms I just can't forget your tender kisses I just can't
I've always enjoyed the music of Frankie Yankovic, and uh, I would have to say Albert Mickish from Lidgerwood, North Dakota, is a big, great inspiration. I love Cleveland-style music and uh, listen to a lot of CDs and learn music all the time. And we have been fortunate enough to take our music to Canada also. We've entertained at the Corn and Apple Festival in Morden, Manitoba for several years and also at the Oktoberfest in Steinbeck, Manitoba uh, for several years. And uh, we, we have great friends across the border. We've played county fairs and we even uh, did a Caribbean cruise back in the 90s. We play for a lot of crowds where there's a lot of gray-haired people in the crowd, but don't let that uh, fool you because they like to swing and do the jitterbug and the polka. Um, we, we like our t music to be a little bit upbeat and, and uh, a little peppier, and we get, we get good uh, reactions from our crowds from our dancing crowds that they like the type of music that we play. Um, and then we can, we can slow it down and play a nice love song for them also. I've written several uh, different songs, and one of the songs that I'm proud of is one called Kathy's Polka. I wrote this when I was taking music classes at Northland Community College in Thief River Falls, and um, even even won an award for it. And so we've we've also put that on one of our recordings. We have seven recordings, and Kathy's Polka is featured on one of them. And I also have it on a 45, so that kind of dates me a little bit.
This program is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.